Hey guys and welcome to the start of the new weekly vlog. It is Thursday today and I have a great morning planned. I have an idea for a video that I really want to film. I've been waiting until today to do it because G's home to look after the kitten. I'm going to be doing a charity shop thrift shopping video. Obviously right now it is hashtag secondhand September and I am a huge fan of charity shops. I always have been. Um, I used to love going in charity shops and digging around trying to find some right bargains and I haven't done it in ages but today I thought it'd be really cool to film a video where I go shopping in charity shops around one area, show you the best shops and potentially um, show you some bits that I've chosen out so I'm off to film that this morning. I'm also going out for dinner this evening with some blogger friends that I met in the Loire Valley for the, for the Loire Valley trip that I did last year and we do dinner, I'd probably say say like once a quarter but we haven't obviously met up uh since i think december so yeah, it'll be so nice to see them we're going to pizza east in shoreditch which i'm really excited about so it's going to be a really really lovely day i have just curled my hair using my ghd curlers and then straightened the ends with my ghd straighteners the curlers i use are these ones oh god it's just like a curling tong I've had these for years and they're amazing. And then outfit today. I also really want to start filming an outfit of the day video um, for petite girls because I think that would be really handy. I've had so many of you asking me for kind of where I buy my clothes at the moment. Um, so I'm wearing this long sleeved kind of high neck stripey top from ASOS and my Topshop Joni jeans which are super comfy and I'm probably just going to team this with some white trainers and maybe a blazer it's kind of hot today so maybe maybe this beige blazer from zara yeah i think this looks pretty cool also this guy's come to say hi yeah i like this outfit i bought this necklace don't ask why it's on the floor it was on my desk last night and i'm guessing this guy was playing with it this kind of necklace chunky necklace from asos which i really like but i don't know if it suits me how you doing in this morning <laughs> you want my necklace you're so cute i love you so much oh no oh you're feeling sleepy today you're so sleepy today if i put this necklace on is he gonna go for it probably yes yes you are <laughs> i really like it but i don't know if i look like a uh, mr t <laughs> do you know what i mean is it like too chunky do i look like i'm in the mafia or something what do we think maybe it's cool i am done with all the shops i hit up five in about an hour and a half and that involves some queuing outside as well but i'm gonna pick up a sandwich now and head home to eat it i heard about this place called the dusty knuckle bakery and it's down this weird alleyway but um, apparently it's amazing and so I cannot wait to try it. Wow, I love London because you can find places like this. So cool. I am home now. Oh, I need to show you something awful that just happened. But in the meantime, here are the two sandwiches I picked up from this bakery. They are batshit crazy. So this is a smoked mackerel with homemade charred sweet corn, onion, and douja salsa, and lemon creme fraiche rocket baby gym salad sandwich. And we have a charred, wow, charred fennel, hispy cabbage, romesco sauce, pink fur potatoes, and herbs. They are insane. So I'm devastated because I went to use the hand sanitizer in one of the charity shops and it squirted out all over me including on the suede of my my new Pauline bag and I can't express how devastated I am because I have lost it over this bag for about two years I've wanted this bag finally got it only had it a month and now this has happened I'm devastated so I just read that you can use like the soapy suds from um detergent to try and wash it off and I'm gonna try that now I really hope this works because I'm so, 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 so sad. I might use a flannel. And I've got some suds and... Okay, I can't tell. It's probably gonna make it worse, but you can't see the stain anymore. You can just see where I've applied the soapy bits. So I might just leave this to dry. Let's see. 
see if it helps. Maurice is being so cute. He's just climbed into my tote bag that I took to the charity shop. Oh, look, you see the book. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you like it in there? You are adorable. <laughs> oh, we could totally take him to the pub in this. He's just got a little kind of eyes. <laughs> You're so cute. I love you so much. You love it in there. I wonder why. It smells like charity shop. Yeah. Outfit change. I just filmed the whole part of my vlog and now we're going to get coffee. I'm so excited for coffee. I wanted one earlier, but they'd run out of um, dairy alternatives at the Dusty Knuckle. What a great name for a bakery. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Dusty Knuckle, it's so good. So we're going to our local to get a coffee. Which it's half past three. Can we go to Urban Baristas? It is such a lovely day today. It feels like summer. It's beautiful. Um, we both got very cool t-shirts on. You've got a full English Percival and I've got an Eat Mealies thinking about snacks. We are sitting on a wall outside our flat with a coffee. Very happy right now. Caterpillar update for those who didn't watch last week's vlog. For my birthday, my parents got me a butterfly garden where you grow and foster <laughs> caterpillars whilst they transition into butterflies. I've only had them five days and they are huge now. So I reckon in the next week they'll be turning into chrysalises and then hardening their shells so they can transform into beautiful butterflies. Stop giving them evils. <laughs> I'm gonna put a clip in here of how big they were when I got them on um, Sunday. And this is how big they are now. They are getting big really quickly. And I think that might be because the weather is kind of warmish still. It's the perfect time for them to grow. The colder it is, the longer it will take. But um, yeah, they are getting huge. I didn't intro this, but then I went for dinner at Pizza East. And as you can see, we had the most delicious feast. I need to do some stories and a blog review on what we had because it was yummy. a delicious meal we had so much food like one of everything i haven't been to pizza east we went to pizza east we haven't been i haven't been there for a couple of years now but it was the menus improved and got loads more added to it and it was delicious so highly recommend pizza east the food was incredible the carbonara for maine was beautiful and they've got a potato pizza which was so good um and for starters the mozzarella dips the burrata oh my god i feel so 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 full but i'm looking forward to getting into bed going to sleep it is friday it is 10 o'clock and i'm in bed working on my laptop feeling a little bit uh fragile after last night i had so much rosé but the food was amazing um so so delicious i can't wait to go back at some point soon today right now i'm going to film some videos i think i'm going to film them in bed i don't i don't mind this backdrop and um, the lighting is quite good in here but i'm going to film some sex toy content because i haven't in ages and i've got so many new toys that i want to show you guys so i thought today would be a great day to do it what's wrong i'm also starving so i'm gonna have some biscuits you're right. Do you want attention? Oh, why do you meow like that for? Hello. Oh, he's gonna sit there now. <laughs> this guy's being so cute. Look at him, he looks like a little sleeping lion. We've got a, um, well, <laughs> we've got a delivery for lunch. We want him to be healthy. But this is huge. Warm 
Oh, this looks so good. Yeah. We've got a panko and flaxseed chicken. I've got edamame beans, quinoa, onion, broccoli, and some salad. This looks amazing. It's great, isn't it? We have come to Waitrose to do our weekly shop. It's a quite small shop this week because I'm going away with my parents on Sunday for a couple of days, but we're getting some nice stuff. We decided to get beer for tonight's dinner and I'm loving the packaging of these and blood orange we're gonna get one to try we are home from the food shop and i thought i'd show you a couple of the bits that i'm excited about from this shop firstly cotton candy grapes are back at this time of year um all the supermarkets start doing cotton candy grapes and they are gorgeous they're like grapes but um sweeter with a really like cotton candy ish aftertaste so i'm so happy i managed to pick them up this was a bit of an extravagant purchase but um i bought this like a huge bottle of ginger shot it is a dosing bottle and it's got eight shots of fresh ginger root in it and i do feel like i am a bit run down at the moment so i think this is going to be great for shotting loads of that over the next couple of days we decided to get some beer for dinner this evening so we've got this um bloody orange one this pineapple milkshake one tropical and a normal beaver town neck oil so we're gonna have those i don't know if you guys have seen the massive scandal with oatly this week which i'm a bit devastated by because oatly is one of my favorite oat like in fact it's the only milk i drink these days but they've been bought out by a huge company which also invests in trump I think I I think I've got that info right and they've been like responding to people's queries about it on their social media and explaining it uh, by the sounds of it they did it because they they can get a huge investment from this company which they're going to put towards making really great changes like reducing their carbon footprint or plastic re like reduction but still I thought maybe now was a good time to start trying some other dairy free milk alternatives so I picked up this one it's called Sprout and it's a barista powered by peas. So it's a vegan uh, milk made from pea protein and it foams like barista milk. So I really am interested in trying this. I do hope it is nice. Maybe it'll be better in coffee than tea. But I also picked up a Rude Health barista oat milk as well. I do like the barista versions of oat milks so i just find that they are better but i do still have some um oatly baristas in my cupboard that i do need to use up so yeah i'm quite excited about trying those here's a quick overview of everything else we've got some tomatoes got some sweet smoked paprika which i thought sounded amazing because we just run out of paprika apple juice this for dinner tomorrow it is a curlin chicken curry for dinner this evening we are trying out these uh, beyond burgers i've heard good things about them so i hope they're nice we've also got some tomato onion and cheese and we're heating up our mac and cheese from the other night too. Here's our dinner. We've got our mac and cheese and our Beyond Meat burgers <laughs> with our beer. Mine's very nice. Oh, I'm gonna try yours. Club Tropica. Mmm, that's really nice. Passion fruity a little bit. Mmm, pineapple, yum. Maurice has a new game where he tries to chase the cursor on the telly. <laughs> oh, he's turned the sound off though. Silly boy. <laughs> we just did something so exciting. It's Saturday morning, by the way. Um, we're getting a new bed, we've decided. And I realised that I've never ever chosen my own bed before. Like, because I've been renting or living with my parents, I've never had the pleasure of choosing my own bed or mattress. So that's a proper adult grown-up thing to do but I'm going to show you what um what we've chosen in a future vlog because I'm actually working with Benson's for beds with this which is really cool so yeah that will be coming later we've chosen a really cool bed and the comfiest mattress but now we are continuing the adulting and we are going to get our car serviced at Halfords so yeah I hope it doesn't take long. Me too. Maybe, yeah, if not, we, we've got a pub booking that we can go and eat at. So the car had to be in for its service for like four, five hours. So we've come back home and we're cooking some lunch. Um, and we decided to go out for dinner this evening lo locally nearby if we can get a table. 
just as a little date night. My caterpillars are huge. Look, they are so gross. But I reckon in the next few days they'll be turning harder, ready to metamorphosize into butterflies. Been home for a little while in my dressing gown. I um, haven't vlogged very much today, which I feel bad about, but um, just had stuff to do, you know. And um, we've got a takeaway for dinner. We were going to go out, but we couldn't get a table. So we're having our beer with some garlic bread and pasta. Look how huge my carbonara is and G has Etonesca. Spoon in my little bear. guys it's monday and i'm not in london anymore i've come to the seaside to kent with my family my parents and my sister just for a couple of days oh, this road is so loud just for a couple of days break but i've got the most gorgeous view and we're going for brunch right now and then we're gonna go i think just explore the town a little bit look at this gorgeous pier we've come for brunch at a restaurant called the lanes um the lane and it's super cute. I want my house to look like this, brick walls. And I've got a latte. Look at this amazing muffin with barbecue sauce and hash browns. We've got pancakes. And a jammy dodger pancake, that looks amazing. Look at this gorgeous house. Yeah, the statue's awesome, love that. My dad and I just had to move our cars because we were in a car park that only had what was it like 12 no four hours stay so we have to keep moving them so we've just driven a couple of minutes down the road to park somewhere else and now we're heading back into the high street to do a little bit of shopping i think and um, there's loads of charity shops and there's a record store and a bookshop and loads of little like antique stores as well so we're gonna try and find mum and sister for that look at this amazing shop oh my god we love it in here i love all of this all these little antique quirky things charity shop haul this um cardigan which i actually think you would like mummy oh. and i bought this because i really like the tassels oh yes oh i, oh, I do like and that it's a kind of nice lace oh my god i've actually got like a gig that. top it's a black top with a, a lace fringe at the bottom yeah, that's nice, isn't it? And yeah, that was that's very three, nice. £3.50. Oh, very much like my top. I bought another shirt because I do love a shirt. And this one's from Gap, so I thought that was quite good. And it was £5. And it's my size. So I can just okay. wear that on the beach over my bikini later yeah. today. Very I good. To cover up. He's still a resistor. Go on then. Jacket which I bought from the, the Dogs, Dogs Trust. Check this out. It's like um, Blazer. military oh. um, anchor, kind of nautical. Oh, with all the little that looks like handmade or hand yeah. altered. Yeah, and it's good quality, but it's a size 20. Okay. So it's good, and I need to take the shoulder pads out. Okay. Ah. That's nice. I quite like the shoulder pads in, but they are a bit big. But I like yeah. it's oversized, and I like how the length of it, and I can just get it altered a bit. Yeah. And then I've got one more thing. One more, one more thing. One more thing. So I've got this because I've got blazer like this at home, but it doesn't fit me anymore. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of that and keep this one. Shoulder pads again. Yeah. These oh, okay. Those. What do you think? Yeah, good for winter. Because I can layer it with a jumper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Very good. The family hamster is away on holiday with us. And we have some caterpillars on holiday with us. I've got cherry bakewell ice cream on the beach with my legs out. This is bloody brilliant. Just went for a quick dip in the sea and now my eczema feels my legs feel like they're on on fire but i've been looking for pe nice pebbles for my parents back garden and look at this stone i just picked up 
can you believe I picked that stone up and someone's written that on it? What are the chances of that? 